The Bay Area is contending, though, with city lights and fog, but that did not keep the crowd away from the Chabot Space and Science Center. That's where ABC7 News reporter Ansar Hassan was tonight. The Aurora Borealis is headlining for a second night over the Bay Area, and the crowds continue to show up. I think it's like magical and you think about it from when you're a kid, you see pictures of it and you just want to see it for real. I've never seen it for real and so I thought the opportunity was too awesome to skip. Scott Zimmerman and his family drove up from Mountain View for a view from the Chabot Space and Science Center up in the hills of Oakland, hoping to see the northern lights. It's pretty exciting and it kind of reminds us that you know we're part of a much bigger universe and uh, sometimes the universe kind of talks back to us. Gerald McKeegan is an astronomer at Chabot. As he explains, the sun releases ionized gas. Those clouds, sometimes bigger than the actual sun, travel out into space. Its interaction with the Earth's atmosphere produces the lights. I did get a chance to see it last night. Uh, when we looked to the north from here at the Chabot Space and Science Center, we could see a faint reddish glow in the sky. McKeegan says the sun is on an 11 year cycle, which means every 10 to 20 years, the northern lights become visible this far south. I've heard my father always say he wanted to see the northern lights, so I had this dream that I would take him there, but it's over here, so, I, so it's good that he can see it. 14 year old Preet Prathusha wants to be an astronomer, so she sees this as a special opportunity. Astronomers say Saturday night's cloud coverage won't necessarily block the lights, but humidity from the clouds could cause a problem and the lights are too spread out to be seen using a telescope. It's something that's unusual, like you cannot see it anywhere else. It's kind of rare, so I just want to see it. McKeegan says the more intense the geomagnetic storm, the more chances of power outages and disruptions to electronics, such as cell phones and TVs. As far as I know, we've had none of that happen yet, but stay tuned. That's because McKeegan says Sunday night will likely produce the most intense light show because of a massive gas release headed towards Earth. In Oakland, Ansar Hassan, ABC7 News.